I want to try to set the stage for you. To be black in America is truly difficult. You have to face 400 years of systems of oppression, of overt and covert racism. If you look at the headlines, COVID-19, racial violence, national protests, it, it's no surprise that there's this feeling of uneasiness. This is a very important moment for America. It's a really important moment for us to make progress, and the only way we're gonna make progress is together. Oftentimes, um, it's the most unusual relationships that create the best of circumstances. I'm with Stand Together, and we are so proud to be partnering with you all today on this event, because our vision at Stand Together is to stand together to help every person rise. We've brought together some of the most brilliant minds successful leaders, innovative thinkers, and committed community members to figure out how we can do more. This idea that two people who come from very different walks of life could have grand visions to right. work together is what gives me hope. We have a lot to share, and we really feel like what we're doing here in education is attacking systemic racism at the root, and it's now or never. Okay, we gotta say it. What is racism? Well, for me, racism is a system designed to label people as minorities so they'll be put in their place. It's a way to create people uh, positions of power that are one-sided and keep the white people on top. Let's be fair. So you can't have slaves anymore and we can't be on top that way. So we have to keep you in your positions so we can still be at lead. My grandfather always said, I'd rather deal with the devil that I can see than the devil that I cannot. And that's something that we as African Americans have to face every single day. State and local governments spend $2,226 less on the education of non-white kids. Reading proficiency for African American students, I don't need to tell you this. In 2019, less than 18% of black fourth graders in America read at or above Proficient. Today we're 66 years out from Brown and it is still not true that public education is available to all on equal terms. It's like I can't even believe we're talking about this in 2020, right? Like that's what's mind boggling to me. When my son was getting discouraged from reading the stuff and just sitting there and reading it and it not making sense, that begins to make your child do other things. Not because they want to, not because they have to, because they don't know what else to do. That's someone asking for help. When someone asks for help, especially a child, you help them. We started I Promise in Akron because we believed that there were students living in trauma just like LeBron that weren't being served. The LeBron James Family Foundation, the Akron I Promise Network, and the I Promise School. We are getting at the root cause of the issue with these systems. And we are breaking down those barriers to empower our families and empower our students in order for them to then go back and give to the community and contribute to society. That's what it's all about. It gave my children a second chance. It takes parents, grandparents, teachers, coaches, mentors, friends, and entire community to wrap around every one of our kids and their entire families. If you ever heard that phrase, it takes a village, the LeBron James Foundation was my village. Yes. They were my village being a single parent, and they kept her on track. If she would get off track, I'd say, hey, I'm gonna call the foundation. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna call Mr. LeBron. She'd be like, don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> so I had my other half of my family helping me to raise her and to guide her so that she could be a successful senior in 2021, so. <laughs>
when you're talking about difficult, difficult subjects that people shy away from because they're scared to talk about it, it's even that much more important to be in person to really understand each other's perspectives. And we believe that that is how people will create change, that is how we will grow together, and that is how we will attack racism when we're able to really talk about it and challenge each other. And that's why we need to do that in person. We believe that the answers are found from the bottom up, from the social entrepreneurs that are helping people to discover those gifts and to be their best selves. And so that's why we are here. We are here to learn from you all, to discuss these issues together, and to create a better, more prosperous future for each and every student, each and every family, and each and every community. This isn't a program, this is a movement. So we're dealing with people's lives that are living in trauma as it is. So when they've given their last bit of hope to you, you better be real. You, you misstep, you lose them forever. We actively listen to what our students and families need. We invest that endless time, energy, hearing them out because every single family and student has a different situation. So we're looking at a family holistically so that they can change the whole trajectory of their family. It is a family environment, not just for the children, but also for parents to become more. And they took me into that resource center in a way. Excuse me. I think I cried the whole way, even getting the things that I needed. And it, was, it wasn't a big deal to them. But for somebody to help me and not judge me, I didn't want nobody and didn't need nobody to feel sorry for me or my children. I just needed a little bit of extra help to get me to the next pay. And they understood that. And I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna go see them. It was a humbling experience. I'm in this work day in and day out, trying to figure out how we can be better. I personally can be better than I was the day before. And when you have people from around the country come and, and learn about your work and ask questions about your work, wow, that's empowering. And you know, you're in it so much every day that you're like, oh yeah, this is just normal life. This is what we do. And when you hear someone talk about it, you're like, wow, I am learning. Like, this is special. Yeah. You're doing really somebody up above's work. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, thank you for allowing me to be part of this. If I Promise Schools or something like them were built in every community across the country, just think about how much closer we'd be to living in the country we want to live in. This is life's work. Um, there's always going to be more work to be done. Like, that's our philosophy, no matter what. <laughs> like, this was awesome, but the first thing we're going to do tomorrow is talk about everything that we should have done better. So our work's never done. Go back to your communities help rebuild them, help strengthen them, help change them. We need to do more.